What's up guys, Lewis here from And Now Just Listen, here to bring you another Let's Play offering. This time, we're playing this uh, puzzle game, I guess is the best way to describe it. The Talos Principle. Um, I've seen some small looks at this game, um, and it got me really intrigued. I've heard some very positive things about it here and there on the internet as well. So, it was on sale during a Steam sale, picked it up, and we're going to play it now. So, let's jump right on in. Here we go. I'm excited. I've been itching to play this for a while now. Loading screen is long. Alright, here we go, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to try... Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay, we can do that. I was going to say before uh, I was interrupted that I'm going to try to keep this uh, camera steady because it's pretty easy to get real wild and I don't want to make you guys sick watching this. So um, if it proves too difficult, I will go into settings and turn down sensitivity for the next episode. But for now, I will try to just keep it together. Logic check. Oh, I'm assuming we have to just pass this simple test here. I don't know how complex of a task that was, but whatever. I appear to be calibrated. What was that? I'm afraid of this ball. Don't move, ball. Don't move, gun. Way into this music as well. It's cool. Ooh, a ladder. Oh, interesting. All across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome, and within each, I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Yay! Okay. There we go. Let's go get one piece. Only the two of us. You 
can't hide from me. Is that all we need? Yep. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. All right. Thanks, God. Elohim God. Okay, cool. I like that it crosses them off on the sign. Ugh. I think I need to jam that with this one. Yeah, so that I can go take the other one out. And then we can reposition it. Let's just get the easy get the easy ball with that one. Grab this one. Get this other stupid ball robot thing. Shh, quiet now. All right. Not too bad. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple, but it may serve you in times to come. Cool. Extra. it from up here. Can I just crouch? Damn it. Aha! That powered it off? Nice. Then I can take this jammer. And jam the ball robot. And get my piece! Oh, nice. That's, uh, Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. I'm glad to have that open up so I don't have to walk all the way back through it. Nope, no one's here. Interesting. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. <laughs> All right. So God's not necessarily a super nice guy. Good to know. Okay, what's over here? Is there anything over here? It doesn't look like it. Just like a place to hide, maybe? I guess. Okay, there's my piece. Damn it! Hmm, this one has me a bit perplexed. I guess gotta just like sneak, sneak behind them like this. Cause no, they still detect me. Ooh, no. 
No thanks. Okay, you go, and then you go back. And you go. Bounce off of that shit. Oh, I see, I see. I got it. I got it. Trap it. Nice. Boom. Case closed. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. I want to go get this. My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Okay. I'm gonna do it right now, though. Funky. So yeah, do this. Bring him outside. Jam that. Then we can just run through. Done. You are most diligent. I know. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Perhaps. Oh, do we have to, like, make a square? Is that what this is? Put that there. Nope. Okay. Oh, here we go. Rotate. Put that like that. This. Okay, nope. That. That. Ah. Uh. Damn it. Here we go. Gotcha. What the hell is this? That's a creepy eye. ASCII eye. Loading library session. Network inaccessible. Ha! Ah, MLA unresponsive. Archive session ready. What's this? Type help. Display list of available resources. Show kind of file. Uh, okay, let's try a list. Welcome. All right. Welcome. Uh, hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This would be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young, and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, no nominally speaking, I'm a head researcher here, but this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure. Interesting. Okay. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You gotta figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together. Try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there's a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You've got loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. 
Uh, Athena. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of the Hesperides. Something did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such an ability, that it was hard not to follow them further into this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymphs said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom is its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, some kind of error, gazing upon the stars and wept. Okay, saw that. Let's run the assistant, see what happens. Oh, nice. Okay. So, computer said, how can I help you? Do you understand what I'm saying? I replied. Understand is a strong way. And then I asked to describe its functions. So, the library assistant is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archives. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with the library resources via an intuitive human language interface. Also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Okay, how old are the archives? Publishing dates range from 1995 to 2030-something. 20, 30 What's the current status of the archive? 47 million resources in archive... That's a lot of petabytes of disk space. Okay, it's big. The majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10.7 gigs of uncorrupted resources are indexed. What caused the corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archive. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. Okay. What are these terminals? Okay. Where am I? You are currently in a support session with the MLA blah blah blah. Library archives may be resumed at any time. What am I? You are logged in with a guest account. Okay. How long is the system in running? Active for 9,999 to E. I'm assuming that means like the E power years. What the hell? Uh, who's Elohim? A noun for God or gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. <laughs> Can you take offense? You cannot insult me. I'm sorry, I'm only able to process and respond to basic subject, verb, object, syntax. Interesting. Um... I think that's it. Interesting. Oh, cool. So those all go into a journal tab. That's nice. Since this game is pretty story-driven, uh, outside of the puzzles, uh, planning to go through all the terminals and read them. So hope that's all right with everybody. Okay, got everything there. What the hell's in there? This QR code. Frogs are people too. 
What the H? Okay, that stupid ball is already asleep. Jam that. Actually, I need to jam the gun. Because I need to go get this one. And try not to... Oh, God! Okay. I know how to adjust my strategy. Go get this. Jam from afar like that. Let me grab this. Then we jam the gun. Then we take that. Then we jam the door. Then we grab the piece. We leave. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here. Trio Bombasticus. I'm assuming we're gonna have to let these guys out one at a time. Okay, got it. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? Let that guy out. Let that guy out. Jam this. Easy, so easy. See if there's anything out around here behind. Doesn't look like it. Uh, not much. Okay. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Cool. Here we go. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Blocked off. Interesting. Also blocked off. pieces. Alright, so some doors. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's see. This is just a map of yeah, everything in here. Cool. Well, I think this is as good as any place to wrap up episode one. Thanks, as always, for checking in and sticking by. We'll be back with more episodes of The Talus Principle in the future weeks and I'll catch you guys next time.